We mentioned at this hour, you know, a lot of you that uh, listen to the Rick and Bubba show, and we should do thank you for that, started calling us. Guys, have y'all seen Funny Man? Have you seen him? Have you seen the videos? And we were like, no, man, we, we haven't. And then we watched them, and uh, very funny. Uh, and, of course, uh, today's the day for the debut. We've been looking forward to meeting Jermaine, uh, Funny Man Johnson, and he's here. Hello. Welcome, hey, Jermaine. Welcome, Jermaine. Doing? It's Richard, finally happened. Bubbert. How you guys doing? <laughs> Everybody good? Uh, well, here it is. It finally happened. Yeah, man. I finally got here. I feel uh, part of the team here, coming yeah. from uh, Radio in Birmingham. Oh, so yeah. You guys been carrying the torch for a while. Congratulations on everything. Well, as you know, uh, it is a modern medical miracle uh, for, for, for any show and radio to stay on this long. Yeah, yeah. my hairline is a modern medical miracle also. Yeah. That's why I'm wearing this hat today. <laughs> oh, really? It hit you early? Oh, real early, man. I woke up, my hair just started cutting itself one day. It was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> so you are c- could you say that you're relatively new at this game I mean and when I say that a lot of times you think somebody has uh, has just started and you find out they actually been grinding for a while so how yeah. long have you been been out there trying to be heard and and you know banging on your craft trying to get better how long this is my 13th year See? started August 25th overnight since I know right <laughs> it just you know things just start clicking in 2015 <laughs> yeah man it's it's been a grind just trying stuff out just seeing what works for me what works for the audience and the audience changed so much I haven't changed a lot but the audience changed you you know you got to learn what to say how to say it who to say it to what planet you can say it on. It's a lot of rules yeah. to comedy right now. So so how old are you? Huh? Well, I mean, you're not a woman. I can Tw- ask you how old you are. <laughs> T- 25, okay? Let's just say between 25 and 65. Okay. You're so right. <laughs> well, and the, the reason why I ask is I've realized, what you might have heard us talking the, the, uh, this hour, right. that I don't realize how old I am. And right, so I'll right. throw out phrases. See, I think I'm 30, but I'm not. And some right. of the younger people that listen to us, or, they don't know what I'm talking about. I mean, I met a guy yesterday who didn't know who Larry Zonka was. Oh, I, I wow. mean, I mean, I was like, so you know I, Larry Zonka, am, am yeah, the football player. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't, I didn't see him play, but I know the am man. Am I that old that the, the guy didn't know? Who, I mean, <laughs> this is the guy I was hanging out with, and I was like, you don't know who Larry Zonka? And I thought, so that that's the point. If you're doing what we're doing, you said it. Got gotcha. you. You know, you don't want to leave who you are, but you you can say things and think you have this hilarious story. <laughs> Yeah, and then nobody gets. I will tell you what, I'm in, I'm in my thirties, and the hardest part for me is dressing age appropriate. Oh yeah, I don't yes. know. Should yeah. I look more? What do you more, mean by that? Yeah, do I should I look more grown or more toward my college age? I don't know. So I wear like <laughs> tuxedos and Jordans. Man, it's weird. I don't know where I'm at as far as dress right now. Well, for this show, you dress perfect today. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, yeah. thank you. I mix it all up. Comfort. I got Jordans yeah. on my feet. Uh, kind of slim jeans, camo on the head, and Bama on the chest. I can't lose. You know what you, you, you know what you are right now. You're a roll tide, baby. Roll tide. I mean, you got That's it all it. covered. I mean, I might have just come out of the woods. I'm going to the game. <laughs> well, you're the only guy <laughs> right, with skinny right, right. jeans on it. Yeah, now skinny that. jeans. That's right. But I'm not skinny. I know that's the that's what's so sad about it. Yeah. <laughs> you, you still know, you still look young enough to pull that off. Yeah, thank you. Thank so you, you don't look worried. Yeah. You're not that youth pastor that hadn't learned yet. <laughs> you know what I mean? and, uh, Everybody's got that pastor. Craig. <laughs> it's usually named Craig. <laughs> <laughs> youth pastor Craig. That's him. At every church, there's a Craig. <laughs> that's so true. Now we fa- we heard about you as first that got our audience going is right. And and we've had and and we've even talked about this and people around the country. Don't they think they may understand the Auburn Alabama thing? They think oh, they do, no. but as Bo Jackson no. said in the ESPN special, yeah. it's just tip of the iceberg. Well, don't quote Bo. I that, can't. I can't yeah. quote him completely. Yeah. <laughs> but 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 when 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 you try to be funny mm-hmm. about Auburn Alabama fans, it's almost impossible right. to, to exaggerate. exaggerate it. Yeah, because yeah. everything that we could come up with really happens. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. I don't think people realize it is all day. Here in the state, like it will decide that logo that you have on the back of your car will decide if you get over in traffic or not. Like mm-hmm. it's really that yeah. petty and serious <laughs> all day, every day here. You cannot describe it. You just have to live here. And but it is comedy gold. 
Oh, and, absolutely. And, and and you have you have mined some of that with some of the videos, and people <laughs> yeah. start calling and say, "Y'all got to see this video." Oh and, wow! Yeah, and I don't know whether it works on what we're doing right now, but if you yeah. you go see them, where you actually play the role of a typical Alabama fan watching a game. That, no, it's not playing the role. That's all me. <laughs> <laughs> I, never, I never write a script for any of the videos. Whatever I think while watching the game, that's what I say, and from that has come catchphrases and. Over two million people a week during football season watching, and I didn't see that coming. Wait a minute, you just turn yeah. on the camera and just watch the game and say what you would normally say? That's it. That's it. Well, That's you know, that makes is. all the sense in the world. Yeah. Yeah. I thought to myself, man, he's got this down. <laughs> well, well, you know, no, because no, 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 that's who he is. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> oh no, no, that is that is all me. That's all Bama fans, man. And then I'll right. say something on a video like "Go on, Jalen." And then I come out the house, and everybody's saying what I said. Like, young, old, black, white, the Klan. Everybody's saying what I said. <laughs> and I'm like, I didn't know y'all were watching. <laughs> I had no idea. <laughs> but that is awesome that they follow like they do. You, sometimes you have a, a surprising audience. Right, right, right. <laughs> but, well, really, but, when you get down to it, everybody does like to laugh. Yeah, you know yeah, what yeah, I mean? Yeah, Even yeah, the yeah. Klan. Yeah. 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 And, I, and I think it, it, the other part of it is come along at such a great time because we we were divided about everything. Okay. So with this, you know, me just sitting on the couch, and as the the main point of the shows is to everybody's included. You know, it, it may look like an Alabama show, but we get all kind of fan base. There's Auburn, Georgia, Florida, Notre Dame. Everybody comes to the shows. There's no cursing at the shows, no sexual in your window. There's nothing, <laughs> nothing like that at the show. So it's just fun for the entire family. You could bring a group of church members to the show and just have a good time. Well, that, that's the first thing we heard. They were like, man, he's clean. And, well, you know, and again, I, I, we're not we're, – we're Christians, but we're not prudes. But mm-hmm. but when people just try to be nasty just to be nasty for a right. shock factor or whatever, to me that just – I don't know, you, you, at some point you have, you kind of outgrow that and you're like, what? What? I mean – Yeah, it's, it's, it's just not me. Especially uh, if it's yeah. not necessary. That's right. Just so be you, yeah. you are. Did you grow up in church too? Oh, you I, got a my, background look, with My that? dad is the super conservative. He's got the trifecta. <laughs> Military, pastor, country boy. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, uh-huh. you look, love you, God first, love your country, work for everything you get. That's my dad. And then my mom, bless her heart, she was on the other side of things. <laughs> so that's where the gifts came from. But, yeah. Right. Yeah, so the- gro- growing up in the church, bro, you, you see a lot. And you start realizing, like, the similarities between the club and the church. church. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, like that chameleon, that's a shot. Come on now. <laughs> that's a shot glass. I know a shot glass. <laughs> All right, won't get invited back for that one. No, that's, no, that's, no, the no, one. No, that's the one. That's the one. I saw you go, and I was like, well, I, I, I'd like to see where we're going with that. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's just similarities, you know, like uh, club wants $10, church wants 10%. <laughs> <laughs> Club lets out about two o'clock. Amen. See, there you go. <laughs> Similarities between the church and the club. A lot of them. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> so, you, does your daddy laugh at that? I know your mama does. Oh, my dad lives. <laughs> he lives vicariously through my career now. Okay. Cause, oh, cause when he, yeah, when he preaches, the first ten minutes is stand up. <laughs> Everybody will tell you that. Like his first ten minutes okay. is pure stand up. Oh, yeah. So he loves what I do, and he calls me every morning, six thirty a.m. With a new joke, I'm sleep. I just leave him on speaker and I go back to bed. Oh, right. So, so he can, so now that he knows this is your craft, he he wants to bring something to the table. Oh, absolutely. So, yeah. do you get to be the example in the sermon ever? Oh, I bet. Oh, all the I've time. I've got a son. Yeah. Oh, he he name drops. My dad is a, a solidified name dropper. <laughs> okay. He opens up. Yeah, my uh my son is funny, man. And uh, turn with me to the book of really. <laughs> you put me before Jesus. <laughs> But that's the household I live in, man. It's awesome. We'll come back more with uh, with your main funny man, yeah, Johnson. So it, well, the first time we saw that, we thought it was like like M A N G or something like that, and then we saw it was spelled like the state, and then we saw your name. We, okay, now we get it. Okay. There you go. At first, I'm like, why is he? It took us a minute, but we got. It. And why is he talking about the state of Maine? That don't even make sense. I'll, I'll break it down. For okay, you. we'll okay, do that. We'll come back. We'll talk more with Jermaine. If you want to see him this weekend, Comedy Club Stardome, Birmingham, Alabama, go to stardome.com and grab a seat. Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Yeah, we're the Rick and Bubba show, and we are back. I can't.
Already had the first dose of the day. I might be selling Jermaine on this. Uh, relief Factor. Relief, I'm telling you, you get older, you're going to need this. Oh, yeah, come on. Relief Factor's all-natural product takes on the body's natural response to inflammation. It started out as kind of a, an anti-aging, uh, some research saying, what we can do about arthritis and how your joints. I was actually doing something yesterday, and one of the guys says, Mr. Burgess, you're not jumping too high today. I said, you stop jumping high when you don't have cartilage anymore. Right. Yeah. I, I said, I ain't got any problem with jumping. I just dread landing. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because I, I don't have that bounce anymore. So relief factor actually helps with the, the aches and pains. We got a lot of people say that this was what really was the answer for them. I mean, some of the over-the-counter stuff, it's got all the bad side effects. You certainly uh, are not supposed to take that every day. We see the problems with prescription pain management and the opiates and problems we're having with that. This is all natural. You can take it every day just like you would a multivitamin. Uh, and if you get a three-week supply for nineteen ninety five, you use that. In three weeks, you'll know whether Relief Factor is working for you or not. And if it does, send us one of your, your emails, and we can hear about how well it's working for you. If not, eh, you'll be out 20 bucks, And you'll go, well, I tried that. That's not for me. If inflammation is the problem, this is going to help you without all those bad side effects, and we love it. I use it every day. Go to relieffactor.com or rickandbubba.com under the sponsors button. Uh, let's go to the Golden Ticket Seats. I got seats. a ticket. Cool. I got a ticket. Golden got Ticket got Seats ticket. today. Let's say hello. A Having a birthday today, Uh-oh. Joshua Simpson. How about this? You booked Jermaine Funny Mane Johnson for free for your birthday party today. Uh, or there'll be an invoice awkwardly given to you as you leave. Uh, how about celebrating their anniversary with us today? Bryce and Rita Hall, seven years married today. One, two, happy anniversary, baby. I got you on my mind. I got a So we thank you all for being here. Nicole Vaughn is here. Uh, we say hello to Gracie Clemens. Rebecca Vaughn, and then Patrick Vaughn having a birthday with us today, as is Jacob Morgan and Anna Morgan. Not a birthday. She's just here with the birthday boy. So everybody here today gets a Rick and Bubba double CD. Take that home with you. All the Rick and Bubba CDs from 24 years can be found on iTunes if uh, there's no hard copies available anymore. Everybody also going to get tickets to go to the Alabama Auto Show while they're in uh, the great state of Alabama today. That's running now through the 15th, so you get those tickets. NorthAlabamaRoadTrips.com, also giving everyone a T-shirt today. Go to RickandBubba.com on the contest button, and we may send you on an out-of-this-world vacation with your family to the U.S. Space and Rocket Center, which will in- will include flight suits, $1,500 to spend. Get all the details there at RickandBubba.com under contest. And we do want to say, I don't want to embarrass him, uh, in our studio audience today, uh, we do have someone who um, we got an email from their wife, uh, Nicole, here we go. We're, we're, about, we're having some fun. Well, th- th- I don't want to in- embarrass you. Uh, is it Patrick or, or yeah, it's Patrick. Patrick uh, is actually getting um, not just his 49th birthday today, but he is being awarded as a community hero later this afternoon for his heroic acts uh, involving his community. So. Yeah. Hey, kind of like speed. What did he do? Mm-hmm. It was kind of a speedy move. Yeah, one yeah. hero to another, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, so anyway, uh, it had it had to do with, um, yeah, with uh, with a guy who uh, actually had hit his head and needed some help, and he was uh, able to uh, uh, get the officer to uh, uh, be able to help the people and and get somebody who was misbehaving in handcuffs and make an arrest. So, I uh, thank you for uh, your co- your okay. commitment to your community. And congratulations later today. What and, if him and Speedy hung out together and they were like a duo doing this kind of stuff? And, and just the Atlantis. The big, uh, now, yeah. one thing I'd like to do is to reenact what you did if we get the guys to get here and you can slam one of them down and somebody else can. <laughs> so, uh, so anyway, Patrick, uh, c- congratulations on all that. And Nicole, congratulations on successfully embarrassing your husband. Um, all right, so you were telling us when we went to the break, we're talking to Jermaine Funny Main Johnson. His uh, his website's at show notes at rickandbubba.com. If you've never watched, and he's using all the stuff available now for you to have some fun, uh, you can follow him. on. Uh, we're on Facebook Live right now. You can uh, see his videos. You can find out where he's going to be appearing. As a matter of fact, this weekend, Birmingham, uh, you'll be on that wonderful Stardome stage. Oh, and yeah. if uh, you want to go out and see him, uh, we've got shows 12, 13, and 14, and 15. And you can uh, you can go enjoy that at stardome dot com. Uh, so you, you obviously are from Alabama, but you were going to tell us how you came up with this name that you, that you have. It was from the MySpace days, if you remember that. Oh, I yeah. forgot all about MySpace. Yeah, yeah. So all, is everybody else. Yeah, all it was <laughs> supposed to be was I uh, needed something MySpace dot com backslash something. 
So I was like, what can I put my name in but let people know I'm a comedian also? Mm -hmm. And I chose Funny Maine since my name is Jermaine. That's all it was supposed to be. And people, as I started promoting that page, people would introduce me and say, come into the stage, Funny Maine. And I would get (laughs) heated, like upset. And I was like, that is not my name. But people just liked it and it stuck. And I just kept rolling with it. How about that? It was supposed to just be my space. I know. Well, <laughs> no, I well, and that brings up a sad story with us. The original name of this show was Rick and Bobby. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, but, uh, it was all a misspelling uh, thing. It was all a misspelling thing. But uh, but so that that was my. I forgot all about MySpace. Yeah, well, it was fun times, man. Is MySpace will it will it will it be the beta of its era? You remember when we went? Well, to I don't know. Considering this week with uh, old Zuck, it make you make a comeback. It may make know. a comeback. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's it. It was intense, bro. Choosing your top eight that was very intense. <laughs> Time, right? <laughs> a lot of divorces behind that topic. Yeah. <laughs> forgot about that. So it says here that you're going to Los Angeles as well. I'm looking yeah. at the tour dates. Mm-hmm. Now, now how's that? How does that? How does the Los Angeles audience receive you? Well, I go by my Facebook analytics, and where people are usually asking, or where they're watching the videos, and believe it or not, a lot of people from the South that moved out there, they're just like, "Dude, come out here. We need some." Southern fried, just football, Southern mm-hmm. comedy. And then, you know, you you put it up, and then the ticket starts selling, and you get on a plane, and you go. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> so, really, I, what I'm trying to vision isn't happening. You're just calling the people that are trapped there that are like us. Basically. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, right, yeah. Right, yeah. yeah we're going to get out there. We're going to barbecue under the palm trees. We're going to yeah, make yeah. it. We're gonna... It's like a prison ministry. Yeah. That's absolutely what my shows are like. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely. But, yeah, it's just, it's just I cannot describe, like, how fun the shows. You really have to come to one to experience So tell that. me, do you, I know it's impossible mm-hmm. to describe. First of all, and our audience always asks this. You said it's clean, so it's right, clean. Right, right, right. So, am I going to hear stories about your life? Am I going absolutely? You can do observations on what's going on in the world. Not, not talking about politics. Just mm-hmm. funny stuff people do, things you've done. What? Yeah, I'll, I'll let people know how I kind of came up. Uh, at some point, we'll talk about some football. They'll find out about my family. I recently got engaged. We'll oh, talk congratulations! About all of that. Yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you. I, I look so forward to marriage. Counseling. That's what I'm looking for. <laughs> and uh, yeah. So yeah, they'll find out a whole lot and, and at the end we do like a, a Q and A. No, you we'll don't. Take, yes, I do. I love Q and A. I love Q and A. It's dangerous, it's but it's fun. Part. Yeah. <laughs> well, I was just in well, Chattanooga. Well, it keeps you from having to prepare too. So that's why No, I'm... no, you gotta be prepared. Because <laughs> last weekend in Chattanooga, this lady said, uh, you see a lot of Bama fans here in Tennessee. Do you see Tennessee fans in Alabama? I said, yeah, all of our prisoners wear orange. Oh, okay. No, no, the, even the Tennessee fans were laughing. They were like an hour oh, away from Knoxville. Oh, they know. Well, they, yeah. yeah. they got to have a sense of humor right now. They're no good. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, but, but, yeah, absolutely. Really, They've developed one over the last 10 well, years. Well, no, when you're good, you, you get you get mad about people talking about your team. When it get, when you're not doing well, you got to start laughing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know? People, but that's the funny thing with Bama fans right now. People think that we don't get nervous, we don't get scared. No, we absolutely we're nervous until that clock says zero, bro. It's a lot of pressure being a Bama fan right now because <laughs> every loss it hurts worse than it hurt like during the Mike years. Like, <laughs> you got Mike used Shula, to it. The Bulls, price, yeah. <laughs> the Mike years. Right. Mike. The Bulls. Call them the Mike they, years. They didn't hurt that much then. Yeah, right. They hurt. We well, get used to it. Yeah. Now it. it really stings for a long time. <laughs> well, it's great to meet you. Uh, awesome. If, go see Jermaine, Funny Main Johnson. You'll love it. Uh, his website. Start following him on all the different social medias. You can see that too. But catch him at the Start On this weekend. Start On, Birmingham. Let's go. Yeah. Start <laughs> Grab a ticket right now. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba.